I am Janvi Pavar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. If you people are new over here, then today we're going to be talking about law of attraction. What is law of attraction and how it can literally, and when I say literally, I mean literally change your life. It can literally change your life. Law of attraction is that kind of law. Just like how law of gravity can fail you, law of attraction can't also never, never fail you. So law of attraction, what is first of all law of attraction? Let's talk about that. Now, let me share something. Do you know where you're sitting right now? Like if you're sitting in a room, if you're sitting on a king sized bed. So do you know everything that you do, your parents to your tuitions, your classes and to your friends, basically your grades, whatever grades you're getting, your salary, every little thing, the kind of chair you're sitting on, the kind of table you have, the kind of fan you have, every little thing, the kind of environment you're living in, all of these things, you have manifested them by yourself. Yes, they did not come by accident. No, you manifested them. You were the one who brought them in your life. You are responsible for everything good and everything bad in your life. If there is something positive happening in your life, then you are the one who is responsible for that. If there is something negative happening in your life, then still you are the one who is responsible for that. Now, the problem with us humans is, is that we never accept, like, we can do anything negative with our life, but you do. But how do you do that? That's the question. So that is what law of attraction is all about. Now, in law of attraction, we have got certain things. First of all, the main thing we have got, thoughts. Now, just by the name of it, law of attraction, what is attraction? You attract something, correct? But how do you attract something? The more you're going to think about something, the more you're going to attract it. Just like law of gravity. If you're going to throw something up in the air, so it's going to come down. That's the law of gravity. And in the same manner, that's the law of attraction. Just like the law of gravity can fail you, law of attraction can fail you. So it depends on you how you're going to use it. If you're going to use it in negative ways, if you're going to use it in positive ways. So law of attraction is all about manifesting new things in your life is all about manifesting new friendships manifesting new relationships manifesting money manifesting even your physical appearance each and everything so everything you have done until now are just your thoughts so whatever you think you attract that thing whatever you're thinking right now if you think I'm amazing if you keep thinking I'm amazing I'm amazing I'm amazing so somehow you're gonna attract being amazing amazing because that's what you're telling yourself so whatever you're gonna tell yourself that is what you're gonna attract if you're gonna keep saying yeah, I, I did not do good in my exam I'm gonna get really bad grades I'm gonna get really bright grades and when the result comes there you go, really bad grades, because that is what you attracted. So everything that you're doing right now, every scenario, that is what you have manifested, except for your biological parents, but they manifested you basically. So law of attraction is everything that you have manifested until now with your thoughts, with your beliefs. Now let's talk about thoughts. Under thoughts, what do we have? We have our focus. So what kind of thoughts a person have, that is the kind of thoughts you are. You know, if you're having thoughts like, I'm going to have really bad grades, really, really bad grades. I did not do well on my exam. I did not do well on my exam. So if you're just going to keep reminding yourself this, that is where the focus of your mind is. Your mind is thinking you did really bad on your exam, so you're going to get bad grades. So what is your mind going to think? Okay, you did bad on your exam there. It's going to prove you. It's going to prove itself to you. Like, yes, you have bad grades. You did bad. Now, if you're going to say, I did really good in my exam. I got so many marks. I'm going to get like 100 out of 100 and I'm going to get an A plus. So that's what you're going to get because your mind, that's going to want to prove itself like, yes, your thoughts, it matches with your, you know, 3D world. So what kind of thoughts you're having? Those are the kind of things you attract. So if you're having negative thoughts, if you're having what? If you're having negative thoughts, so you're going to attract negative things in your life. If you're going to have positive thoughts, then you're going to attract more positive things in your life. That whatever you're doing right now, you're doing it for the peace of mind. Like if you're earning a lot of money, why are you earning a lot of money? To have like a satisfaction, like, yay, I'm earning a lot of money. But if you're going to keep your focus on, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to earn a lot of money. I have very less money. And still you keep thinking, I get to work for a lot of money. I get to work for a lot of money because I have really less money right now. You're already telling yourself you have no money right now, but you will work for it. How about you just convert the thought into positive, into something positive like, 
yeah, I'm extremely rich. I'm super, super rich. And that's how you attract these things. So whatever your mind focuses on, that's what you attract. The focus, where is your mind focusing? What kind of thoughts are going on in your mind? Now, what do you need is you need to know what kind of thoughts are going in your mind, the kind of beliefs you had. Beliefs. Let's talk about beliefs. Now, there are certain beliefs that our society has created and that we ourselves has created is that if I'm not going to study, I'm not going to become anything. Like I'm literally not going to earn some money. Well, sometimes this is also a fact because you really got to work. But this is a belief, you know, these are not negative or positive belief, but this is a belief. For example, if I'm going to drink, so that is going to destroy my body. So that is also a belief. Now we have seen so many people doing it. So we have converted it into a fact that although it's a negative thing, so do not manifest it or anything that is just for an example. So you can take any belief out there. So this is something you have hardened into a fact. Everything, every fact right now, those were first beliefs. Those were what people were telling you. People were telling you those as facts and you believed them as facts. And now they are your beliefs. So you always have to think what kind of beliefs do you have? If do you have positive beliefs or do you have negative beliefs? So if you have more positive beliefs, positive beliefs, more positive thoughts, more positive outcomes, negative beliefs, negative thoughts, negative outcomes. So it's all, it's all like a really, really long process. So we always have to keep our mind under control into what kind of thoughts we're having. Most of us, we don't even know. There are so many thoughts traveling through our mind throughout all the day, throughout the day. Like we look at someone, we go, ah, nice person. We look at someone and go, what an annoying person. You know, so many different thoughts, different thoughts. Not on one topic, but on every topic. There are numerous, numerous thoughts in your life, different topics, different thoughts. Every little second, every millisecond that passes, we have a new thought. We have a new thought. So what are you doing? You're not, you're manifesting nothing. Either if you're focusing on one thing, yeah, do you think I can marry that guy? No, I can't because he's a celebrity. He's a celebrity. So that's what you're telling yourself. So that is where your mind focuses. If you're not focusing on anything, so you've got so many thoughts running around in your head, you're not manifesting anything negative or anything positive. So what you got to do is, is you got to know what kind of thoughts you're having. You got, you got to know what kind of thoughts are your thoughts under your control. You got to control your thoughts. What you got to do, you got to control your thoughts. The more you can control your thoughts, the more positive outcomes you're going to get. Because the kind of thoughts you're having are the kind of proofs, kind of beliefs you make in your mind. So the more you're going to focus on something, the more it's going to keep hardening, hardening into a fact. So what you got to focus on are some positive things so that can harden into a fact and can bring positive outcomes in your life. One more thing I'd like to talk about under law of attraction is that if you're grateful about something, you know, even if something you haven't manifested, but still if you're grateful, then that is what you're going to attract. So you have to be grateful for every little thing you have. For example, I'm grateful for the air I breathe. I'm grateful for, the, for my home. I'm grateful for every little thing. Somehow, we keep focusing so much on the outcomes, we forget about what do we have right now. Law of attraction isn't about everything, you know, going on in your thoughts. In your thoughts, you also have to be grateful. You have to be grateful for every, every little thing you have right now. And things, outcomes you're trying to manifest, you also have to be grateful for those that I'm grateful I already have that. So that's how you, you know, your thoughts, they make up a belief and that's hardened into a fact. So that's how your mind works. That's how law of attraction works. So the more positive thoughts you're going to have, they're going to create a belief and those beliefs, they're going to create what? They're going to become a fact one way or another. And those facts, well, there you go. In your physical reality, you have everything. So that's how law of attraction work. And I'm going to be coming up onto more, you know, with more law of attraction videos. But this is like a basic concept on what you got to do to create your thoughts or, you know, to just alter your thoughts to create a whole different reality or to alter your reality into a better reality, into a better life, into better positive outcomes. That's what you got to do. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you people in the next video. I hope you all stay safe and yeah, just stay safe. Bye, everyone.